third back to winning ways against Dungannon a good night at the office yeah 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 very good win uh, always good to score three goals and always good to keep a clean sheet uh, I don't think the result flattered us because I thought we had many more chances to really put a gloss on the game but three points three nil clean sheet can't be too dissatisfied with that there's a difference maybe tonight that we sort of took our chances when they came along and that allowed us to, to close the game out and, and to be relatively comfortable yeah um, the past two three games we've kind of come unstuck with uh, errors and uh, set pieces and stuff like that and we, we had words as a group of lads and as a, as a team we knew it wasn't good enough uh, we knew um, t to, to be able to do the things we want to do we can't be conceded them type of sloppy goals and it was the meeting we had during the week was very very productive everybody got their words out and then we, we got back onto the training pitch and t tonight we we, rec we didn't make any errors I don't think they had a shot on goal so that's that's for us, according to the gaffer that's domination of a game when the t opposition don't have a t shot on goal and we have we scored three goals so very very pleased yeah yeah, there's maybe been a little bit of frustration around lately, but that's eight points out of 12 um, in the last four games. So, you know, we certainly haven't been on a, a terrible run by any stretch of the imagination, but maybe just sort of shows that the standards that you, you set yourselves as players. Yeah, um, eight points out of 12 isn't bad, but what we strive for, we strive for 12 out of 12. Um, I know uh, probably any other manager, any other club, if they got eight points out in the last four games, you'd be relatively happy, but with the kind of players we have, with the mentality we have, with the standards we set already, uh, we weren't happy with it. And that's just a testament to the boys. We wanted more. We, we know we can do more. And obviously the games that we played, they were relatively e um, easier games, if you as if you say. like. But um, at the end of the day, um, we, 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 we picked up a good win today. Um, now it's just all about momentum. Three points this week, hopefully three points next week, and just keep snowballing from there. Yeah, that was my next question. We want to build on this, I suppose, whenever we go to Cliftonville with a, a week between games, which is a bit of a luxury at the minute, so a chance to rest on bodies and get back on the training pitch. But as you say, we want to build on it and we, we want to build momentum. Yeah, uh, the games have come thick and fast uh, the last couple of weeks, so we haven't really had time on the training pitch to do any tactical work. It's more so recovery and sharp, short and sharp stuff to get ready for games. But we have a full week to prepare for Cliftonville now. Difficult place to go, difficult difficult uh, surface, but um, we have nothing on our minds except for three points, and that's what we're going there to get. And results recently, not just our own, but right across the league, have shown you know kind of how difficult it can be to put a run together in this league. You've had Linfield and Crusaders and others dropping points, and teams towards the bottom, you know, going on a bit of a run. So it, it kind of shows that you have to respect the three points whenever you get them. Yeah, definitely. Any team in this league can beat any team. Um, I think. Um, it just goes to show you the type of a weird season it is. Uh, and anybody can lose random games. You've seen Linfield last week uh, just kind of like getting a draw. But obviously from all reports, Carrick should have won the game. But that's just the game of football we're in. You see at the highest level that where teams, supposedly weaker teams, uh, turn over the, the bigger teams. But for us, it's just all about what we stand for as a team. We, we, we have very, very high standards on the training pitch. We have very, very high standards with the way the boys look after themselves and everything like that. So all that hard work that we do, we don't really want to see it come to waste when we're dropping points against the likes of Port down and Warren Point. No offence to them, obviously. But um, like I said, um, we, we just need to uh, pull a few runs together, a few wins together, and uh, hopefully it just snowballs from there and we'll just see where it takes us. Super, thank you.